Mogul Motivation, empowering and inspiring entrepreneurs and dream chasers worldwide, one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media, and I'm your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Happy holidays, everyone. And is it really a happy holiday, though? You know, we've been in a pandemic the entire year, virtually the entire year. Um, And the government that has sworn to protect its citizens, the government that has sworn to um, help its citizens, has passed a stimulus package for a $600 stimulus check as a direct payment. And this comes months after a one-time payment of $1,200 that they released back in April and May. In a country that has more money than it could count, in a country that prints its own money, in a country that has the largest gross domestic product in the world, um, a country that has the top three richest humans on earth who supposedly aren't going to pay any income tax this year in a country like that how do you give its citizens only one payment of twelve hundred dollars and then months later you cut that one-time payment in half how does that happen i mean we all know that governments lie we all know governments fail we all know governments do not have integrity Um, The government is not immune to criticism. The government is far from perfect. There are good people in the government, but nevertheless, the government is still built with a lot of hypocrisy. And it shows. Because in a pandemic where people are struggling, they have failed to help their people. They have failed to help the citizens. And the people that are always going to suffer from this are the poor, are the working class, the ones at the bottom of the barrel, the black and the brown. Those are the ones that's always going to suffer from situations like this. That is why it's necessary that we need multiple streams of income, right? We talk about that all the time. doesn't mean you have to be an entrepreneur 100%, but you need multiple streams of income. That's, that's a very loud and repeated rhetoric these days in this social media era. But before you create multiple streams of income you have to first allow multiple streams to flow through you before those multiple streams of income can come to you you see we all need multiple streams flowing through our bodies flowing through our spirits we need multiple streams of joy we need multiple streams of happiness We need multiple streams of peace, multiple streams of love, and multiple streams of gratitude. I'm not being cliche right now. I'm being real. You have to have multiple streams of all of these positive attributes. Because that's what's going to keep you going. That's what's going to keep you alive. You got to understand that a stream of water is going to flow naturally. And the only way that stream is not going to flow is by two ways. One, a self-imposed dam. And what a self-imposed dam is, is when you create a blockade to stop that stream from flowing. It's when you stop your peace from flowing. It's when you stop your joy from flowing. It's when you stop your happiness from flowing through you because of external forces. The second way a stream can stop forming is literally what I just said, external forces as well. So external forces can stop your happiness from flowing, can stop your gratitude from flowing, can stop your love from flowing. You lost your job, so now you're not grateful anymore. You didn't achieve something that you wanted to achieve, so you're not happy anymore. You know, these are external forces that can stop these streams of positivity flowing through your veins. External forces and self-imposed dams, which sometimes can be placed because of external forces. Stop allowing people and objects to be the source of your happiness, to be the source of your joy, to be the source of your peace. Because you got to understand something. If your happiness is tied to a person 
What happens when that person passes away? Or what happens when you're no longer friends or in a relationship with that person? So now your happiness is going to stop? So now you're not going to continue to go down your career field? You're not going to continue to build this business because your happiness was only one stream and it came from that person. That's why you need multiple streams. You need to have happiness from more people. You need to find joy in more people. You need to find joy in other things outside of monetary Goals such as money, such as cars, such as homes. Those things are great, but you need to find multiple streams of joy and happiness from other places because that's the only way you're going to continue to rise in entrepreneurship. That's the only way you're going to continue to grow and prosper and be successful is if you have multiple streams of all of these things. Listen to what I'm saying. 60% of the human body is water. You are the source of all of these streams. Every stream of happiness, every stream of joy, every stream of peace, every stream of gratitude comes from you. It flows through your veins, through your spirit. You are the source of all of these streams of happiness and joy and everything else. All of these positive attributes. It's not your boyfriend. It's not your wife. It's not your husband. It's not your car. It's not your home. Those are mere streams, but the source... Is you. Every stream is connected to a large body of water, a lake, an ocean. Every stream is connected to a large body of water. You are the large body of water. It's you that the streams flow from. And even those large bodies of water, those lakes, those oceans, guess what? They come from a greater source. They come from God, the creator, the higher power. You have to have multiple streams of happiness, multiple streams of love, multiple streams of joy, multiple streams of gratitude. You have to have all of those flowing before you even think about getting multiple streams of income. Because, see, once you have all of those things intact, once you destroy the self-imposed dams, once you break up the external blockades to stop any streams from flowing... Then you're going to prosper 100% in entrepreneurship. Then you're going to continue to succeed. Then you're going to feel invincible. But if you chase multiple streams of income now, despite we're in the middle of a pandemic, despite we're all suffering, despite we're all struggling, despite we're not all in our best mental health, if you start to chase multiple streams of income now to make you happy, it isn't going to work. Because money can't replace positivity. Money can't replace gratitude. Money can't replace love. Money can't replace happiness. So what's going to happen is you're chasing multiple streams of income and it's not going to work and it's not going to make you happy. It's not going to replace everything that you need inside you. Why do you think so many wealthy people, so many rich people, so many celebrities commit suicide? And I'm not trying to be insensitive, but it's the truth. Money does not make you happy. Money is not the answer. To what you need is simply a byproduct, a tool. Every stream ain't necessary. Just because it's a stream of money, just because it's an idea doesn't mean it's necessary for you, doesn't mean it's going to be the answer for you. Never forget that, ladies and gentlemen. We have to have multiple streams in us flowing before multiple streams of income come to us in abundance. So let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. You are the source. You are the body of water for all of these streams of positivity. And you get your strength from something greater than you. Once you destroy those self-imposed dams, once you break up those external blockades, you're going to move different. You're going to think different. You're going to feel different. And then all of your goals will flourish, will blossom. You will be successful. You will overcome this pandemic. You will overcome this low point in your life. So if this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape, or form, I ask for two things as always. Number one, please leave a five-star review. And number two, pass it on to a friend who may benefit from it as well. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next week.